A deep distrust of institutions echoed throughout the conversation. It's almost like you get kidnapped and the kidnapper has a mask on, but once he shows you his face, he's got to kill you. Correct. And they've shown their face. Yeah. And, you know, again, it, it, I don't think there's anything they wouldn't do. I mean, you put out something, I think it was, I think it was on Twitter uh, yesterday, which was, you know, sort of that extreme, like, well, if they can't get Trump this way, what's the next level? And I, I think we've, they've proven that they'll do that in the past. I yeah. think we're now figuring that out. Uh, we understand it. I think the system's probably been broken for, you know, much longer uh, than any of us would care to admit. And for me, I, I saw it firsthand. I mean, well, at least we, 61 years it's been broken since they exactly. killed the president in an election. Exactly. And, you know, for me, I still, even when we started this process, Mentions of the deep state and a readiness to take extreme measures against Donald Trump resonate deeply with conservative anxieties about the integrity and credibility of our government and political institutions. This highlights a profound need for vigilance and skepticism to uphold true power. There is a strong desire to protect a leader who embodies conservative values, coupled with a fear that drastic actions against Trump could threaten to dismantle the existing corrupt system. This advocacy for traditional values and principles is bolstered by leaders who are perceived to champion these causes. References to historical events, such as presidential assassinations, are used to draw parallels that underscore the enduring nature of these struggles. This continuity of challenges faced by conservative leaders calls for steadfastness and resilience against such threats. Placing current fears, within a broader historical narrative and providing a profound sense of consistency and purpose.